Hello, Ben here, amateur call sign M7FRS, and welcome to the Quanchang UV series choosing firmware version 2.0. It's been about three or four months since I last did a video on the firmware, and a lot has changed. So we've got four different radios with four different firmwares loaded onto them. It doesn't really matter which radio's got which firmware loaded on. And um, in the previous video, uh, people have asked, well, which firmware does that certain colour? Well, the colours of the screens don't actually matter. That's uh, not to do with the firmware, that's to do with the radio itself. So uh, the first radio here on the left is the uh, UVK58, uh, very similar to the UVK6, uh, which has got the orange screen. Uh, and that one is loaded up with uh, Exuma version 0.22 and um, if you remember if you've seen my previous video um, that had a Zuma 0.20 so we've had 0.21 since then loaded onto this and uh, I do have to apologise in the previous videos I used to pronounce it as EG Zuma well it isn't it is Exuma I've been put right on that one so uh, I'm not sure why I used to call it EG Zuma I think either somebody else had said that or I'd seen it written down like that before so uh, apologies for uh, for getting that wrong in the past but it is um, Exuma and like I say we're on version 0.22 on this radio the next radio is the original UVK5 with a white screen and this one is currently loaded with IJV mod version 2.9 R5. Uh, we've then got two UV5R pluses with a blue screen. I appreciate on the video it does look very similar to the uh, UVK5 screen but um, this one is, is a bit whiter and there I say the blue screens on the uh, UV5R pluses. Uh, both of these are running different versions of the CEC firmware. Uh, the first one which has got the black knob on it is running CEC uh, 0.5HF and this has had to have the mod done to it this one so this has got the little additional circuit board in it and again if you want to bore yourself with my uh, uh, video of uh, me attempting to fit that board um, that is also on my channel. And the other UV5R Plus is running another version of the CEC firmware and that is 0.3DB and this is the one with the orange knob on it. If we start with the Exuma uh, loaded radio, um, there's been a few changes in Exuma uh, since version 2.0, I say we're now on 2.22. Um, if we look in the menu then, uh, menu 1 is the step and uh, that's changed a little bit, there's been some uh, additional steps added. Uh, I think 9 uh, kilohertz was added and if we uh, scroll down uh, there's some lower ones in there as well so uh, you can change the uh, the frequency step uh, right down to 0 0.01 kilohertz so uh, yep steps have been uh, added in that. I'm not going to go through all the menus um, uh, because it just take this video would be an hour and a half long if I went through all the video, all the uh, menus and all the different radios. We're just going to go through some of the uh, uh, the key features of the different firmwares. And uh, pretty much, if you watch my previous video, um, Exuma is going to be the same. I say it's just a few bugs changed and that kind of thing. A few backlight settings were changed. Uh, another setting that was changed in um, in version. 0.22 was uh, to do with the FM radio so if we press function and FM radio and we put it into the uh, FM radio mode there um, we've now got the option to change the FM uh, broadcast range so I believe if you press function and then one yeah we can change the uh, the range at the moment it's there you go uh, 76 to 108 megahertz uh, 76 to 90 megahertz 64 to 76 megahertz uh, and then back to 87.5 to 108 megahertz um, so yeah that was another little update but other than that um, pretty much everything in the menu is the same when you go in there you've got 1 to 60 um, menu options so um, nice uh, easy one to use I think again probably still one of my uh, preferences is uh, Exuma however the others are especially the CEC as we'll come on to is uh, um, certainly uh, one to keep an eye out for, quite enjoying playing with that one. Exuma version 0.22 also has the uh, band scope as well so uh, exactly as it did before so if we press function and 5 there we go you'll get the uh, 
uh, the band scope come up on there that everyone seems to enjoy so uh, uh, that is in there again I don't particularly use that to be honest but um, for those of you that want the band scope uh, is is there still in version 0.22 on Exuma so the next radio is loaded with IJV mod version 2.9 R5 and one of the things with the IJV mod firmware is it always says it'll never have the uh, spectrum scope so if I press function and 5 so you don't get the uh, the spectrum like you do on uh, Exuma there however what we do have is um, and a lot of people ask for it is single VFO or single frequency display so if I push function and the A and B button there you go we can have um, just a single uh, display there so uh, I know a lot of people prefer just to have that so there you go you can have a single display uh, we can change as you could with any we could change to display so it will show um, the name and the frequency as well which is probably better if you're in that mode so if we scroll down uh, to menu 17 uh, channel display and then we'll change that to uh, frequency fre name and frequency um, so it says name L, so it's name in large and then frequency small. So if we select that one um, and then exit, there you go, you can see the uh, name of the frequency. Um, so this is my local repeater, GB3YL, and then the frequency is displayed in slightly smaller letters underneath. Um, and we can change that again if we want to, to uh, the other way around. So the name in small and the frequency in large. There you go. So um, again, personal preferences. However, you want that to be displayed, um, it'll do that. Uh, IJV mod version 2.9R will also um, take the frequency down a little bit of the the, uh, the radio. So most of these uh, with the modded firmware will work from 18 megs, um, but this one will work from apparently 15 megahertz right up to. Uh, 1.3 gigahertz so um, yeah slightly increased with no modification there's no hardware mod on that one at all but it will go down to 50 megahertz I've not tried that so I don't know how well that works um, but uh, yeah that's uh, uh, another little bonus to uh, the IJV mod uh, firmware so moving on to the first of the CEC firmwares then this UV5R Plus is the one that I've done the uh, hardware modification to so uh, it's got the additional uh, board in there so this one will run um, all of the HF band so uh, this is loaded with CEC version 0.5 HF uh, you'll see when I switch it on there you go CEC 0.5 HF and what that does is that uses the FM uh, broadcast uh, board so the FM mode and changes that to uh, to allow us to uh, listen to the HF uh, band so if I press function and FM uh, it'll tell us to wait for a moment because it takes a few seconds to do it but now you can see um, we're on the 20 meter band there 14 230 version 0.5 is a, is a little bit of an upgrade on uh, 0.41 which was the previous one we had loaded into this again if you've seen my previous video on that you'll know it's got direct entry so if we press uh, any one of the numbers that clears that up so we could put uh, 0, 0, 7, say 2, 100 so we can take us directly direct key entry to uh, whatever frequency you want to go to um, you still press the function button and it'll take you into uh, FM broadcast band uh, we press it again takes us back to the uh, HF band I think if we press and hold that should change us to there we go you get the weight and it'll now change us to upper and lower sideband so we're on upper sideband there we can press it again to scroll through CW for Morse code or lower sideband uh, obviously it's not going to work with this antenna on and I've got the volume down but um, yeah that will cover uh, reasonably well on the uh, on the HF bands it's, again it's, uh, it's experimental so don't expect too much from it but uh, yeah good little uh, uh, little mod that one so moving on to the uh, other UV5R Plus uh, again with another version of the uh, CEC firmware this time it's running CEC uh, 0.3 dB or 0.3 D depending on which uh, uh, 
which part you look at. It says at the bottom CC 0.3D, uh, but the actual file is called 0.3DB, so uh, not quite sure. Uh, whether it's D or DB, but anyway, uh, that's got some nice little features in it. Totally different to the other version of the CEC firmwares, and in this uh, 0.2 again is different again, uh, but I'll, I'll move on to that in a minute. But uh, 0.3D uh, gives us some really nice features. So if I press the menu button, there is absolutely loads of uh, options in the menu here, one of 63. Um, you can see it's got my information in there, you need to uh, put your info in on this one if you're using it in digital mode, which this will do. So it's got uh, a setting for Whisper. Um, it's got that SSTV that I really enjoy playing with as well. So it will send SSTV direct from the radio itself. And again, if you look in my previous videos, I've done a, a demonstration of this sending SSTV. Uh, it's probably an older version of the CEC firmware, but I say as uh, currently as it stands, uh, CEC 0.3 is the uh, uh, the most recent one. So if I stick another radio on, uh, let's put this one on to uh, an SSTV frequency in the two meter band. And we'll turn the volume up a little bit. Let's turn those ones off. So what this will do is uh, like I say we can send SSTV now I'm not going to uh, demonstrate it but you can hear the sound anyway so uh, if I press menu and then menu again there you go so you can hear that that is uh, that is sending SSTV um, signals uh, at the moment uh, what else have we got in there so I say we can put all the information in for the SSTV and then you can scroll across, you put your name in, your call sign, your uh, grid reference, you can put your GPS latitude, longitude in, who you're calling. It's APRS as well, so let's come back out of that one. Uh, like I say, we've got Whisper SSTV, um, lots of settings for your SSTV there. Uh, it'll send APRS as well, so um, there's different uh, options you can send your position, things like that. There you go, so you can see it'll send uh, APRS. Apparently this one will do CW as well, so you can uh, put a, a, a Morse key in there and you can send CW on the two meter band direct from uh, from this one. It'll also do two meters SSB as well, apparently. So let's go on to SSB and let's have a look at all three, all four of these radios on, on SSB. Okay, so I've put all four of these on uh, two meters single sideband and um, we'll see which ones transmit and which ones don't. So first of all, if I try the uh, UVK58 running the uh, Exuma firmware and it's on two meters single sideband and you can see it's in USB or upper sideband mode. And if I push the push to talk, uh, it says D TX disabled. So um, yeah, the, that's one of the downsides to the um, Exuma firmware is that uh, it will not transmit on uh, on upper sideband. Uh, the IJV mods however uh, that, that does it quite well uh, so let's try the volume up on this one and uh, you can see it transmits. Mike 7 Foxtrot Romeo Sierra M7 FRS test only M7 FRS test Mike 7 Foxtrot Romeo Sierra test So that will transmit on uh, double sideband uh, on the uh, IJV, so uh, I'm not quite sure what it does on CEC, presumably the same because I don't think the actual radio itself is capable of transmitting on uh, on single sideband, but it will transmit on, on double sideband, so again that might be a, a test for another video, but uh, yeah, Exuma version 0.22 will not, uh, IJV will and then the two CECs will as well so let's just demonstrate that on one of these M7 FRS mic 7 Foxtrot Romeo Sierra test and obviously we're quite close so um, it doesn't sound that great and it might not sound all that great anyway because like I say it is double sideband rather than true uh, upper sideband or lower sideband 
So there you go then, that's a quick overview of the four different firmwares that I've currently got loaded onto these radios. There is obviously loads of different uh, firmwares and versions out there. Uh, with regards to CEC, there's a uh, version 0.2V uh, which features Spectrum and Waterfall and uh, FM radio apparently changes, so uh, that's one to keep an eye out for. With regards to IJV, then there's IJV version 3 or IJV uh, X3 um, and it says on their website to make it clear from the outset the IJV3 version requires a certain level of expertise for those who do not feel up to it uh, go to version 2.9 R5 which is the one that I've just had a look at but uh, yeah the IJV version 3 apparently changes the radio completely it's like having a totally different radio in your hand uh, according to their website. I did try uh, flashing it to one of the radios and I had absolutely no idea what was going on so it's definitely one for the more experienced uh, uh, user out there. The IJV VX3 apparently is for uh, if you've done the 999 channel mod so again that's another modification a bit like with the HF one where you have to dismantle the radio and uh, change a little chip inside but that will give you uh, like I say 999 channels and then the uh, uh, the X3 version is, uh, is, is takes advantage of that but as always I hope you found this video useful I appreciate it's only been a, a very sort of sl slight look into uh, some, some differences between the firmwares but hopefully it will help you make a decision as to which one's for you please hit the, uh, the like, subscribe, I'm always interested to read your comments hit the bell notification to keep up to date and uh, we'll see you on the next one, 7-3